It has been four months now since Egypt's deposed president was last seen in public. And Mohamed Morsi is set to appear in court shortly, charged with inciting violence. We are told he has now arrived at the police academy in Cairo, where today's hearing is to be held. And these are recent pictures of Morsi behind bars and meeting with visitors at the prison, where he's been detained for months. Egypt once again is on alert. 20,000 soldiers and police deployed in Cairo before Egypt's Islamist and democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi, goes on trial tomorrow. There could be violence. Morsi's supporters from the Muslim Brotherhood have been holding small weekly rallies in solidarity. Morsi himself hasn't been seen in public since the military removed him by force in July. The last time Morsi's followers gathered in large numbers, they were gunned down, hundreds killed. The tension shown in footage published by Egyptian newspaper Al Watan this weekend, the former president spoke of the stakes of his trial. We are in the middle of a coup d'etat, he says in the undated video. I represent only a small price to pay in this context. God knows I am telling the truth. What is happening at the moment is causing suffering all over the country. Morsi's trial is taking place here at Cairo's Police Institute. The former leaders charged with inciting the killing of protesters outside the presidential palace last December. 14 other senior Muslim Brotherhood figures are also being tried. Their lawyers brand the trial unfair and politically motivated. In our defense, we will stress the legitimacy of Dr. Morsi and that what took place is a military coup. The anti-coup alliance has called on its supporters to stage mass demonstrations in protest. Mohamed Morsi's family has been able to speak to him only once since he was detained. They will not be in court on Monday since, like him, they reject the court's right to try him. Uh, the trial is appropriate. Of course, Morsi made huge mistakes, both with the Egyptian people and with the reputation of Egypt, both nationally and internationally. I hope that the trial turns out to be fair. And for Egypt's new interim authorities, that's the challenge. At meetings with the U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry, on Sunday, it was made clear that the world is watching to see if democracy and stability can re-emerge here.